Hi guys, this is Adam again with the Adrenaline Cyclist coming at you with a quick little video here on some common parts that we see a lot uh, selling online and just wanted to go over, you know, what we're seeing, you know, right now with people doing a lot of stuff at home and, and not getting out so much as far as, you know, working on their own rigs. Uh, but before we get too far into depth here, go ahead and let me get you guys to hit the like and subscribe button on these videos so you guys can stay up to date and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you make sure you'll get all the updates when we drop a new video. Uh, let's get back to it here though. We see a lot of stuff um, as far as our eBay and Amazon sales online and even, you know, over the phone calls and stuff just coming in the shop of people, you know, oh man, I need a radiator. You know, I, I flipped my buggy, I rolled it over, I dropped it on its side, I bumped a tree. You know, let me tell you what guys, radiator, yes, you've got a hole in your radiator. You know, there's no doubt about it. If you're leaking fluid, you know it, you've seen it, but it's not as simple as your radiator. Uh, what basically holds your radiator on your X3 is this fan shroud, which as you can see, it's made of plastic. So if you're gonna knock a hole in aluminum, you gotta think how much pressure was put on these mounting points on this plastic fan radiator holder. So if this has got a hole in it, nine times out of 10, this is broke somewhere at one of these mounting points, if not more places. I mean, this thing holds your radiator as well as part of your headlight on your X3. So when this goes, odds are this goes. And what happens is, you know, you guys, it might not be, but what happens a lot of time is we know we're all waiting to the last minute or shipping delays right now with everything going on. Um, it's really putting people in binds trying to get the parts for the weekend. And this is not an easy install, guys. This takes a little bit of time to put this in, especially if you got bumpers, a cage, a cage that extends into the bumper and all that, you know, exoskeleton stuff. That's a job. So I just wanna make sure, if you got a hole in your radiator, guys, at home and you're wanting to do this by yourself that's fine order your radiator because you need it but also look at your fan you know i don't want you guys to get in there and get this in and then realize you got two broken tab mounts here or maybe the upper ones or something going on with your fan shroud that you know holds your radiator and then you can't go ride this weekend so it's just a little quick tip i see it a lot um, have people call back uh, most of the time we catch it when they buy a radiator over the phone. We t tell them to go look at their fan and make sure. And then nine times out of 10, like I said, they'll order the fan to you because it's gotten both pieces. So it's not as simple as I got a hole in my radiator. I'll just order a radiator. Um, you know, so just keep that in mind, guys. It's a quick tip from us here to train on cycles to make sure you guys get on the trail as quick as possible and have what you need when you start ordering parts. Um, so it don't take very long to look for this to make sure you can get this mounted up correctly and securely. So... Um, if you guys, you know, need to know anything else or got any questions on any of this stuff, you can uh, call the shop, you can message us on Facebook, and we'll be more than glad to help. 